Well, hello, Greenland Hills. It's good to be back in Dallas, despite all the heat and humidity. I'm excited to be back in the pulpit with you uh, as we close out the summer and head into what I know will be an exciting fall. This month, we're going to have a short series in worship titled The Bread of Life. The gospel readings from the lectionary for August draw from Jesus' Bread of Life discourse in the Gospel of John, the sixth chapter of John. So we're going to be walking through those texts and looking at what Jesus says about himself and what it means for him to be the Bread of Life and what it means for, to us and for us for him to be the Bread of Life. One of the things that relates to is the Eucharist, because of course it's in the Eucharist, or Holy Communion, that we believe we receive the bread of life. We refer to the, the um, loaf in communion as the bread of life. So I'm here in the kitchen at Greenland Hills where all the magic is going to happen. I have my KitchenAid stand mixer and my Pamela's gluten-free bread mix. For the 11 o'clock service, I'm going to make gluten-free bread for... Nine o'clock, Bill and BJ Gavitt, of course, are going to make their uh, delicious bread that they provide every week. And we're going to be celebrating communion as part of this uh, series. We're going to be celebrating communion every Sunday at nine o'clock and at 11. So as we walk through uh, and think about what it means for Jesus to be the bread of life. So I pray that each of you are well. I hope you're in church on Sunday. I look forward to seeing you, greeting you, and getting to know you better. Until then, grace and peace.